Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're becoming pretty comfortable by finding the terms in a binomial expansion. Although there's a few more tricks that we can use. So here let's say we're asked to find the first three terms of this particular binomial a plus b raised to the 15 power. All right, the exponents on a and b are easy to find. We start with a to the 15 and b to the 0, and then we subtract one from the exponent for a and add one for the exponents for b. So that's pretty easy to do. What about the numerical coefficients? Well, it turns out that the first one is always going to be equal to a 1. And the second numerical coefficient is always going to be equal to the exponent right here. But what about the third coefficient? Well, it turns out that the third coefficient is going to be equal to n times n minus 1 divided by 2. Remember that that pattern that we saw with the Pascal's triangle, where the first numbers were always 1, the second numbers were always equal to the same number as the exponent of the binomial expansion, and then the third number, we multiply the second number by an increasing number, by 1 half. We multiply the first number by a half, then times 1, times 1 and a half, times 2, and so forth. So it turns out that we always take the second number and multiply it times 1 less than the second number divided by 2. So let's try that. In this case, that would be 15 times 15 minus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 15 times 14 divided by 2, which is 15 times 7, which is 105. And so that will then become the numerical coefficient of the third term. So that's the trick. If you only need to find the first three, the first number is a 1, the second number is equal to n, and the third number is always equal to n, times n minus 1 divided by 2, in this case, 105. And so that's how you very quickly can find the numerical coefficients of the first three terms in any binomial expansion. And that is how it's done. How would you need the first three terms or any seventh term? I mean, what situation would you ever need that? <laughs> So there are actually times where you only want the first one, the first two, or the first three terms of any expansion, especially when the second number is a very small number. A plus a very small number raised to a very high exponent, sometimes you only need the first two or the first three terms. And so this can actually come in quite handy if that's all you need. So there are times when this comes in very handy. For estimation? You know, not just estimation, but just close enough. You don't need to go any farther beyond that because the additional values you get from the other terms are so small and so significant that you really don't need them. So, good enough. Would you ever need, like, say, the eighth term or something? It turns out that, um, yes, the binomial expansion has limited utility in the real world. Uh, there are times that we do need it. There are times that we only need the first so many terms. Um, but it's good to learn the techniques in case it comes up. It's, it's just like anything else, right? If, you, if you're a carpenter and you have to work on something, every once in a while you need that special tool, that special technique for something you normally don't come across. But all you need to do is hammer nails on a 2 by 4 You just need a hammer. <laughs> yeah, but when would you ever need the 8th term or something? Uh, probably not very often. The 8th term is probably one of those things that you probably don't need to calculate very often. <laughs> <laughs> but if we do, we learn how to do it.